Turning into episode 3 today, our channel has changed our name to Dontri Pur Patanakan Dick by Coach Giap or Music for Child Development by Coach Giap. Okay, today is the listening to the reading. The story for today is 10 minutes to bedtime. It's a story about a little monster who doesn't want to go to bed. So what will happen during the 10 minutes time? Stay tuned. And next, the ear training or the music time. We will add a new color today. So the last time, do you guys remember what color we had? What color is the C? Red. What color is the D? Orange. What color is the E? Yellow. What color is the F? Green. Today we're gonna be adding a new color. So what color it will be? Please stay tuned. If you guys just tune in to our channel today, episode three, please make sure you watch the episode one and episode two, so you guys know what color we already learned. And uh, for today we will add up to five colors. And then, last but not least, we will go through and open our treasure chest. What could be in this big treasure chest this time? Okay, let's wait. First thing first, we will be listening to our story. It's 10 minutes to bedtime, a story about a little monster. Are you guys ready? Yeah! I think I heard yes. Okay, let's go. 10 minutes to bed, little monster. The Land of Nod Have you ever heard a monster with horns upon her head creeping down the creaky stairs instead of going to bed? Have you ever seen her gleaming eyes or heard her fearsome growl? It's 10 minutes to bedtime, but someone's on the prowl. It's Belch, the smallest monster with a rumbly, hairy belly. It's nine minutes to bedtime, and she's downstairs slurping jelly. Whee! Wallop! Whoosh! Why is there so much noise? It's eight minutes to bedtime. Belch is playing with her toys. In monster houses, Far and wide, lie monsters in their beds. So with seven minutes to bedtime, back down the hall, Belch threads. Squee! Goes the window. Dark shadows cross the floor. It's six minutes to bedtime, but who's bursting through the door? It's a herd of little monsters. It's a sneaky monster ball. It's five minutes to bedtime. They're not sleepy, not at all. Cracklebum is upside down. Grouch has caused a riot. It's four minutes to bedtime, but there's no more peace and quiet. Squelch is sliding round on slime. Loops making dreadful smells. It's three minutes to bedtime. Right, it's time for bed! Belch yells. Sheepishly on tired legs, the others trudge back home. It's two minutes to bedtime. Belch is pleased to be alone. Back upstairs and into bed, forgetting to be creepy. It's one minute to bedtime. And she's feeling warm and sleepy. See, monsters are a lot like you, except for being hairy. When in their beds, they're sleepy heads and not so very scary. Well, 
Welcome back! How did you like the story? Story about the little monster. Okay, question time. So the little monster's name is Belch. How many minutes did Belch have before going to bed? 10 minutes. Good job. She didn't go to sleep. The first thing she ate jelly and then she played, played and played. At the six minutes before bedtime, he got some visitors. So what happened? What happened after those monsters visited Belch at home? They play and play and play and was Belch happy? No, Belch wasn't happy. Finally, he had to tell everyone to go home. And after the monster went back home, what happened to Belch? She went upstairs and she went to bed. Did she sleep? Yes, she finally sleep. I hope you guys like the story, The Little Monster. Next, let's look at our color. Let's go to the last time first. Last time we have the C. Let's sing C three times. Three, go! Very good. And then the D. Let's sing D three times. Three, go! D. Very good. That's a D. And then the E. Ready? Three, go! Very good. And then F, our new color last time is the green. F, ready? Three, go! F, F, F. Very good. And our new color, I'm so excited. Our new color is the blue. It's a G. Can we sing G three times? Three, go! G, G, G. Let's do one more time. Three, go! G, G, G. Very good. That's our new color. Okay, now we got all the five colors. Let's do some copycat. Ready? Three, go! C, 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 go! C, D, C, go! Good job! D, 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 go! so well. Now I'm gonna put this away. Now guessing time! I'm gonna be playing one note so you guys have to guess what note that is. First one. C. Good job! C. The next one. The answer is E. Good job! Next. The answer is F. Good job. Next. The answer is G. Very good. Last note. Answer is E. Very good. Very good for today. That was the guessing game and all the five colors that we learned today. Adding to today's music time, I want to show you guys some rhythm. The first one that I want to show you is this. 
Do you see the black color here? What number is this? Number one! And look at the bunny jump. How many times the bunny jump? One time! Good job! So, when you clap, you clap one time for this one. And the name of this one is Tan. Okay, let's do it together. Clap one time and say Tan. Three, go! Tan! Good job. One more time. Three, go! Tan! Good job! Let's read this together. Three, go! Tan! 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 Very good! They are all tan on this page. Let's look at the next one. The next one is on. Some kids say it looks like a worm. Some kids say it looks like a lightning. Okay, this is un. Look at the number here. What number is this? Number one. And how many times does the bunny jump? One. One time. Okay. When you say un, do this. Un. So the time you clap. Tan. Un. Okay. Now, let's do some reading. Three, go. Tan. 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 Un. And then, let's do this one too. Three, go. Tan. Tan. Un. Tan. Good job. That was our first time looking at the rhythm. Today we learned tan and un. Again, tan and un. The tan looks like this. A big circle with the black color and then the stem up. And the uh, un looks like a worm or a lightning. So I hope you guys remember tan and un. We're gonna look more at it next time. So I hope you guys like what we learned today. Next is our treasure test time. What could be in the treasure test? Are you ready? Yeah! I think I heard yes. Let's go look inside the treasure chest. Let's look inside. Ooh, what do we have in here today? Hello Kitty! The magnet set. And, oh, this is my favorite cartoon character when I was a kid. This is Doraemon. It's a cat robot that I love so much when I was a kid. He has a magical pocket in front of his stomach that can get you a lot of magical toys. Let's look at all the colors too. We still have all the colors from what we learned for today. Red is the sea. And orange, what note is it? A D, good job. And we have this, yellow, E, and then this one is the green, F, and all Doraemons are G. It's a tiny little house. And the door can open. Okay. <laughs> My favorite part. Let's look at this drummer set. Uh, the color is in yellow and blue. Try me. He's a drummer. Say rock star. Okay, let's look at this. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is eating hot dogs. We have a hot dog but a kitty face. Let me introduce you all this. The first Doraemon here is the conductor. You see, he has, a, he has this thing called a baton. 
and then piano player. This is the drums. He represents the drums. This is the flute. He is representing woodwind. Flute is in the woodwind section. This, uh, this is the violin. So the violin, you have to put this onto your shoulder, over here on the shoulder, and you have a bow that creates the sound. This looks like a big violin, but it's a, a bass, a bass player. So the real bass is really, really big. So this is a harp. Harp is also a big instrument. And this guy's representing brass. So the way you play, you have to put this part into your mouth and blow it. I'm gonna leave you guys with this Doraemon Orchestra. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reading, music time, and also the treasure chest time. And please come back for more fun next time. The episode 4 is coming out. And stay tuned for more shows. Thank you. Goodbye.